Today, I'm gonna to talk about why paint overs strengthen your art practice. I'm Maribeth Quinn, I'm a mixed media painter. I work in acrylic and collage, but I really love talking about the emotional part of the creative process. So today I'm gonna to show you an old painting that sat in a closet for years. I never really liked it. And I turned it into this not too long ago. And I'm gonna show you a picture of it turned in the right position so you can get your bearings on where I'm starting. And while I'm working on this, I'm going to talk about the emotional parts of reworking a painting or even painting over a painting. It's not something I used to do very easily because I honestly believed that when I painted over something, it represented a failure. It was a failed painting. That's why I was painting over. But over the years, it has become one of my favorite things. And I think you'll understand maybe by the end of this video why that is. But it's something that I really work on making it a celebration because I now do believe that it only means good things. And it can really strengthen your creative muscles. I think when I was a younger painter, I had this clock ticking inside me. I felt like I should be done with a painting at a certain time. And even if I didn't like it, when that clock alarm went off, I tended to just look at it and say, well, this is, this is awful, this was a failure. But now I realize that if I don't ever like a painting, it only means one thing. And that is that it's simply not done yet. That's all it means. If I don't like a painting, it just means I'm not done yet. Now, I don't have to keep working on it. Sometimes it's great just to have a fresh start. That's when I might do a paint over. But if you do keep working on it and be patient with its emergence, you do get better results, I've found. And so I really try to paint over courageously. You know, this helps me practice thinking things, thinking about things in a way that strengthens my creative muscle and my resilience, and it makes me more flexible. And so being unafraid of a paint over or a reworking really helps me in three ways. The first way is that I realize that my creativity is not a limited resource. It's unlimited. And so it's not in short supply because I can get really in a lack mindset about that. The second way is that some paintings just don't get done in a day or a week or a month. I've had paintings like this one. Apparently I was gonna do part one about three years ago and now just recently it was time to do part two. And it took that long. And I don't know, is, is that really a problem? That's what I have to ask myself, where's the problem here? It really is okay. And I love realizing that it's okay. And the third thing is that nothing, no painting or idea is precious because there will always be more. This, so this sort of goes back to the first one. I am always going to keep growing and changing and my creativity is going to keep developing. So this is actually natural a reworking of a painting or a painting over, bringing it into the now, maybe putting things away and thinking about them for a while. These are all natural parts of the process and I can just embrace it. And so I'm much more prone now when I really do get the urge. I just look at a painting and I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna rework that or I'm, I'm gonna paint over that. I really do get excited about it now because it feels much more like a positive thing. Like I've got a new idea on this and maybe that painting just wasn't done when I thought it was. And now I can take it further. As you can see, this looks really different than the original. The original really had no collage on it. And cause I wasn't even doing collage three years ago. And now it is almost predominantly collage. And then that beautiful green bird actually emerged from the original paint in the painting. I just 
saw it and that's what made me turn it on the side because it looks like a bird suddenly flying out of a hedge of flowers or something and I was just captivated by it. So I had so much fun just reworking this painting and seeing how I could actually stick with something, strengthen my creative muscle, and show myself that I just can keep working on something and bring it around. These are things that I've had to prove to myself because when I was younger, I tended to be far more reticent. I Almost everything tended to make me doubt whether or not I had talent. And now I really understand that it's just about developing that talent. That's all it is. It's, it's just about development. So don't shy away from those paint overs and those reworkings. They're positive things, not negative things. And I found that thinking about things differently really makes all the difference in the world. let me know in the comments how it goes. I try to read every comment and respond back. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed watching this new painting sort of come about. Here is the finished product and here it is in a mock-up. If you go to my website you can pick up a free PDF on normalizing the messy creative journey. So you can stay on the path and get where you want to go. I just talk about the ideas that derail us all the time. So come visit me on my website or on Instagram. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your comments.